I started off by grabbing a few pieces of maple, along with some walnut scraps. I traced a circle big enough to fit my 3 inch Forstner bit in the middle, and copied it onto all of them. Next, I cut out all the circles for my glue up blank. I did this so it would be easier to turn as there would be less corners. Then, I placed them all in the order I wanted to use for the barrel shape. I used the walnut to act almost like as metal rings on a real barrel. Gluing up was a bit tricky, it was hard to get them all to stay in place. I ended up using a lot more clamps than that later on. Okay, so during the huge jump cut, I managed to turn the majority of the side with a large roughing gouge, and the rest of it with a spindle gouge. I'm sanding from 100 all the way up to 400. For the inside of the mug, I turned my lathe speed down to about 480 RPM, and I attached my 3 inch Forstner bit to a drill truck in the end of the tailstock. I soon realized this was way too much material to take off at one time, so I switched from a smaller bit and went over that with a larger one, getting into a pretty consistent rhythm. Applying the finish, I used a butcher block conditioner that was food safe. Even though it's not to be used for drinking and more of a decoration, I could have put a food safe epoxy inside if I did want to, however. All done with the main barrel shape so far, I think it turned out pretty good. For the handle of the mug, I traced where the walnut was and drew the handle sprouting out from there. I cut the handle shape on the bandsaw, then moved to my drill press where I shaped the handle's curves. A lot of hand sanding was involved in this. I had to get all the lines even on both sides.
Gluing the handle on was tricky. I put some 5 minute epoxy on the mug and the handle and clamped it down overnight. I still wanted it to be stronger, so I pre-drilled some holes and screwed in four brass screws to hold it down as well. Overall, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with the shape of the mug. I didn't expect it to take that long to sand the handle down, but in the end, I would do it again. If you would like to see some more of these types of videos, let me know in the comments.